everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and today I'm here to share with you. Uh, I'm doing a blog hop, so if you go on my blog, you will see that I'm participating in a blog hop hosted by um, Create with TLC. I used to be part of their design team, and Paulette has wonderful, wonderful digis that she offers for free. And in this blog hop, if you do the hop, you get free images at each stop, and this is the image that I'm sharing today on my blog. So if you go over to my blog, you can get this image for free. And here is the sentiment that she's offering on her, uh, on Create T with TLC is offering on her blog. And so I thought these, this image to me, like it screams summer obviously, and I'm going on vacation soon camping vacation and as I had shared with you previously I purchased these um, some happy planners that were on special because they were like three bucks and I mean just for this and the covers it's just amazing and they've got tabs which I don't want to keep the the tab name but the um, the sentiments that are on it are awesome so I was thinking that maybe we could do this as the first page instead of this here, this page here. Obviously, this is thin paper, so probably not meant to have uh, a whole lot of uh, stuff on it, but I don't really care. I'm still going to play with it, and we will see what it does. And worst comes to worst, it's just a page, and I can uh, redo something else at a later date. Um, like use a cardstock or something but I'm thinking that it's gonna work out fine uh, so we just have to be careful and maybe use a bit of gesso I like kind of the edge because it kind of fits it's more the the center part that I'm not too fond of so maybe can just cover some of that off It's probably going to warp my paper as well. But. Doesn't matter. This is just a vacation journal. And I just wanted to make it more personal. So that's why I'm doing this. And this should make my page a bit more sturdy as well with the gesso. So you won't have an above camera, it just shut down on me, so it might be my SD card that's full. I have to empty it out. Okay, and on the other side, I think I'll put it all over. Maybe I can use this side and collage something on it. Maybe a napkin would be cute on there. Now I'm wondering if I should do the back first and then put my image in the front. I've got some beachy napkins. Let me find one. I had different ones, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. It's colorful. And they would do the job. So let's remove the extra layer of this on this. Maybe if it wants to collaborate. Is there another layer? Sometimes it's not obvious if there's more than one layer.
even when you wrinkle it very well. Of course, it would probably help if I checked the packages first before removing all the napkin from it. I'm thinking just on top of it like that would be kind of cool. Even on the other side it might be cute too. Okay, so it begs me that I'm not sure hundred percent if it's a if it was a two ply or a three ply. I'm feeling it's it was a two ply. Okay, so we'll just figure that it is a two ply and that's it. So I'm gonna apply this, some Liquitex. Oh. And I put it on top of something that had color. I think when I did a, a project with um, my brush shows, it spread all over the place. Before I apply it on top of it, I'll just remove the excess on this. Whoops, I'm destroying my page. That's not what I want to do. matter that it's not totally straight but I'd like to remove that little edge that I've uh, created by mistake. That will teach me from using big scissors instead of smaller ones. <coughs> okay so got that done but I want to this is becoming a mess because of the um, because of the what I've used prior so let's take another one it's not like I'm attached to them those are just the FedEx the backing of FedEx uh, labels they're perfect for this type of uh, work. Okay, so let's do this again and cover this just to make it stronger and protect it. And it's funny because the um, the other side kind of fits with. Uh, with the colors that I chose here. This is cool. I think I got this napkin at Dollar Tree when I went to the States. They had all kinds of uh, fun summer colors and stuff. Oh, removing some of my napkin here. Try this. I think this is kind of dry. Just 
going to wax, wax it because I don't want it to stick while I'm working on the other side. So let's put a bit of wax on there. Just so I don't get a sticky issue. That is done. So let's go back to this here. And uh, do I use some paint or do I put a bit of my napkin down in the center and then put the, the thing on top? Very pretty with this. And see, it goes with the colors. That's what I, I'm really happy with. Okay, so let's. Uh, Let's do that. Now I'm just not sure if I want to do a little bit more of something on top of that after. Like some stenciling or something. Was it? I think it really was one ply because it's uh, breaking off. But that's okay, it's mixed media. You give the paper a strange texture, but I kind of like it. Then I'm kind of strange. <laughs> okay, so we got the image and we got the sentiment, which obviously I need to put something underneath. But even this, I'm wondering if I should do some sort of sort of pattern or something on it. Let me put a bit of white and black in. These are, this is a stencil that I got from uh, Lara in a, a swap uh, that 
took place over at Trashy Junk Journal. Kind of ties in with the black line that you've got, which didn't really fit into the page. here and there. And on the rest of the page as well. in my box of uh, miscellaneous papers and stuff if I have something that would look good on the back of this. See that's the thing I had no real plan when I started this page so so it's kind of harder to uh, decide ahead of time. pretty but it hides everything. I do something like this. Just tear up the edges here. And something like that. And I'm thinking I want to tear these edges too. I think I might use some ink on them. that a lot. Yeah, I really like that. So I'm putting this down and I'll put it down with some Suquan tape.
something like that and uh, let me put this away before I drop everything thinking of using my chalk. I don't use them a lot. Could edge it with this orange. Wonder though if there's going to be a big contrast or not. not that good of a contrast and see I was smart I use a testing paper because usually I would you know me I would usually just go and start without having tested it so what about this one which is a teal yeah yes it's going to go with uh, the uh, napkin as well. So these are chalk ink pads from Prima. I've had them forever. I brought them to the garage because I wasn't using them inside as much. So I thought when I'm doing mixed media, maybe I can start using them and yeah, I like this. Okay, so more Sukhwan tape. And I think my first page is gonna be done. Okay, so here is my page. This is the, the front. Oops. So this is the front and this is the back. And I really love how it turned out. I think it's a fun, uh, fun start to my journal and uh, to making this Abbey Planner into more of a vacation journal because I definitely don't use the uh, planners so it's a good way of recycling and using that fabulous uh, book plus it's already there's already holes and I've got a punch like this which I'm gonna bring with me for the vacation and if I find anything then I can punch it and insert it so I think that's a great uh, great idea so hope you like this if you do please do give me a thumbs up don't forget to leave comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already plus go and check out my blog if you want to uh, get this freebie so hope to see you there and hope that you do the hop you're gonna get a lot of free images and they're just wonderful bye everyone